This is a case of IOL drop post phaco emulsification. Plan for scleral fixating T flex IOL. Conjectural peritome is done on either side. Bleeding vessels are then cauterized. Ashwin's glued IOL marker is used to create the site of the scleral flaps at 0 and 180 degree. 2.5 by 2.5 mm partial thickness scleral flaps are created with a crescent blade on either side. A 23 gauge trocar is placed in front temporarily and infusion cannula is connected. Sclerostomy is done on either side by placing the needle perpendicular to the limbus underneath the scleral flap. This is trick number one. When the sclerostomy side is parallel to the limbus, there is increased risk of slippage of the haptic, but when it is placed perpendicular to the limbus, there is less chance of the slippage. Illumination probe is passed through the sclerostomy side. Three port pass planar vitrectomy is done after injecting tricot. First, the vitreous in the pupillary plane is cleared off, then, core vitrectomy is done without disturbing the intraocular lens. Posterior vitreous detachment is usually induced after core vitrectomy. The main goal of the PVD is to reduce the traction forces acting upon the retina. It is mainly done to prevent any retinal tears. After vitrectomy, we could see the single piece acrylic foldable intraocular lens sitting on the retina over the optic disc. The haptic of the hydrophilic intraocular lens is thick and bulkier, so it is difficult to grab with the forceps. Once it is held with the retinal forceps, it is taken out carefully. Dialer is then passed through the side port and the IOL is then changed hands to the dialer and it is held in the iris plane to prevent it from falling back. In this case, instead of making a 5 mm incision, we made a 3 mm sclerocorneal incision and extended it to the clear corneal tunnel and we made an entry into the anterior chamber. We can cut the eye oil into half and bring it out. But here, in this case, we brought the eye oil as a whole and care must be taken not to damage the iris. This is the scleral fixating CMT flex eye oil. The T flex eye oil is injected slowly through the main corneal incision and it is held head down with the perineal forceps at the T-junction. Once the IOL is injected, the T-junction is brought out with the perineal forceps through the sclerostomy site. The pop of the T-flex emerging out can be made out. Using the handshake technique, the shoulder of the trailing haptic is held with the Nishi forceps and changes hands to the Preneve forceps.
The T junction is then held with the preni forceps and it is brought out through the sclerostomy site. The tocar is then removed. Conjunctiva is opposed over the scleral flaps and cauterized on either side. This is the immediate post-op picture of the patient where we could see a well-centered IOM.